What's going on, y'all? I want to show you what's in my lunchbox for 2020. So obviously this has been a weird year with the pandemic and I just haven't been traveling studio to studio like I normally do. Uh, so I don't even recall using my lunchbox this year, uh, but I did make one change and I'll show you that. And I did pick up some 500 series pieces and I'll show you that as well. But me and another engineer has been sharing a studio. So I've been pretty much exclusively working out of one studio all this year and I've been moving some of my gear into that studio as well as the other engineer there has moved some of his gear in there. Uh, when we uh, both started using the studio, it was nothing in there. So we moved gear in there and then got it up and running. And yeah, I just haven't been moving the lunchbox around like I normally do. So, uh, but let's take a look at the lunchbox. I'll show you the change that I did make. I'll show you the new 500 series pieces that I picked up this year. So here's my lunchbox. If you recall uh, 2019, I had the La Chapelle 500 DT in here. I moved that down to the studio I've been working out of and put my other uh, Heel Be Mo 67 Pre in here to keep a, a pair of Pre's in here if I need it. Uh, that's the only change that I've made to the lunchbox. Like I said, I haven't been using it this year. It's uh, just really been sitting over here in the corner. Uh, but I'm gonna show you my mix bus lunchbox because I have had some changes made to that. So here's my mix bus lunchbox and if you recall 2019 I had the API 529 in here. I sold that and used that money towards getting the Manly Elop. I just wasn't using the API that much. Uh, but my mix bus is still the Smart C1LA and the Elysia X filter. Actually, I really haven't been using the C1LA that much uh, for most of this year. I've been using the uh, Chameleon Lab 7721 on Mixbus. Uh, but I am thinking of, you know, making some changes to this lunchbox this coming year or next year. Uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to show you the new 500 series pieces that I picked up this year. So this is the Tone Lux MPA or MP5A and the Chandler TG Opto. I picked up the Tone Lux uh, for a couple hundred dollars off Craigslist. I've been interested in Tone Lux for a while and you know, I've been following them as back as far as when they used to cost a thousand dollars per module and now they've went down to I think like $4.99. Uh, I haven't had a chance to really use this yet. I did take this down to the studio and install it there. Uh, so I'll be using it on some sessions coming up soon, hopefully. I've been using it on doing YouTube videos with it, and I've really been impressed. Having that tilty cue at the top, I feel, is going to be really helpful because generally when I'm tracking vocals, one common thing is I want to get rid of some of the low mids and sometimes boost a little highs. And that tilty cue, which is like a seesaw, I... I'm hoping can really do that. It feels like it it should in theory. So uh, I'm anxious to check that out. Uh, the Chandler TG Opto, I picked that up on from a uh, Gearfest online uh, this year, and I really like it on drums and bass. That's what I've been using it on uh, the most. And the last piece I picked up here is the TK Audio T Comp. I took this down to the studio as well. I purchased this because I wanted a a tracking compressor. I took my Empirical Labs mic E down to the studio and it's a channel strip with a mic pre and compressor, but the compressor section adds saturation as well. And sometimes things can get too colored. So I wanted a clean, easy to use, easy to set up and dial in compressor for tracking vocals. So that's what I got the TK audio for. So, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. If you picked up any 500 series pieces uh, this year, uh, let me know. Let's discuss it. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.